Okay, so let's solve this one. Solving system of nonlinear equations using this elimination method. Now, take note that we can only use elimination method if we have these like terms. So these are terms with the same variables and the same exponent. So example of like terms, that's 2x and 4x, negative 3y squared and y squared, and this 2xy and negative 5xy. So these are like terms, the same variable, and also the same exponent. So on this given, so first we need to check if there is like terms. Now since we have these uh, like terms, then check the numerical coefficient if the same and opposite in sign. Now since the same numerical coefficient but not opposite in sign, so we need to multiply one of this equation by negative one to make the sign opposite. So I choose to multiply the second equation by negative one, then just copy the first equation then simplify the second equation, so distribute this negative 1 to every term, or change all the sign of the second equation, negative 2x, negative y, positive 1, and 0. Then the last one, so add the equations, so we can eliminate now this y, the positive y and the negative y. Then since we cannot combine these two terms, so just bring it down, so x squared minus 2x, then negative 4 plus 1, that's negative 3, equals 0. Since we have this quadratic equation, so we can solve this one by factoring. So factors of x squared, that's x times x. Factors of negative 3, that's 3 and 1. Now since the middle term is negative 2x, so therefore this 3 is negative and 1 is positive. Then equate this factor to 0. So x minus 3 equals 0, solve for x, so transpose this negative 3, so x now is positive 3. And the other one, x plus 1 equals 0, then transpose this positive 1, so x now is negative 1. So these are the values for x, positive 3 and negative 1. Then to solve for y, just substitute the value of x to any of this equation. So I choose this second equation. Because this one is uh, this complicated compared to the first equation. So from equation number 2, then substitute your x. So that's equal to 3. So 2 times 3 plus y minus 1 equals 0. Then this 2 times 3 is 6. And 6 minus 1, that's positive 5. Then transpose this positive 5. So y now is negative 5. Then at x equals negative 1, so the same uh, equation, substitute x, so 2 times negative 1, so 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and negative 2, negative 1, that's negative 3, then transpose to solve for y, so y now is positive 3. So therefore, the solution now on the system, so if x equals 3, so your y is negative 5. And if x is negative 1, so your y, that's positive 3.